can shake out all the all the stress and all the sadness from the apocalypse. <laughs> oh, so last time on my new island, I set up a tent for Blathers and I set up a place for Nook's Cranny to go. So we've made a lot of progress. I also planted all the different types of fruit trees. So we've got those going. Hi, Tom. <laughs> Alrighty. Ah. Time for the Lunar New Year. Yay. Everyone out there, have great happiness and prosperity. There you go. Today's news. A brilliant fellow named Blathers has joined us on free. I can't wait to go meet him. He likes biology and he's here to study Bree. We should all cooperate, but I'm the only one that does. Everyone else just visits. Business is booming at the shop my staff opened. Yay, Timmy and Tommy. So, so far it's just going to be a small shop. I don't even remember what the small shop looks like. It's been so long. And when the store is closed, I can use a drop-off box to sell stuff. To celebrate the opening of the shop, we've added a catalog service to Nook Shopping. Let's customers see a record of items they've obtained and purchased. Mass marketed items can be ordered directly through the catalog, so make good use of it. With all that said, hope everyone takes advantage of Nook's Cranny! Whenever we cover big island developments like this, we're going to hold a commemorative ceremony afterward. Stop by resident services if you're interested. Oh boy, I can't wait. We haven't had a ceremony yet. <laughs> hey, this is Tom Nook. Like, you're interrupting my announcement. The getaway package? Yes, yes, of course! That's all for today's island-wide broadcast. Sorry to put you on hold. Let me give you a full overview. Is that cube calling, do you think? To ask about moving to the island? Because last time, uh, we also met Cube on a mystery island, and I invited him to come live on Bree. I love my new outfit. Okay. Now, the princess outfit was pretty good, but look at this. I'm prepared for a snowy day. I am so ready for everything. Look at that. What a house. Oh, wow, look. I'm going to be able to wash my clothes. Look at that. There, I can wash my clothes. And then when I'm thirsty, I get a little drink. I could really use a bed. Like a proper bed. It's kind of nice. I actually really like how empty it is right now. Do you ever feel like that in your real life where you just have too much stuff and it feels a lot better to just offload some of it? I do have this sweet pull-up bar, but I think I'm going to keep it in my backyard for now. Like, I don't want to... I don't want Tank to feel intimidated by my muscles when I do my, my pull-ups. <gasps> Look! You've got a house! This is... Oh, this is Tank's house! You upgraded to a house! Oh, we're gonna have to check out the inside. And our trees are fully grown. And Blathers is here. Let's go see Blathers. My villagers have houses. This is so exciting. <gasps> Look how cute his tent is. I forgot how cute this could be. Oh my gosh. I wish I could go to the close-up mode and take a picture in here. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. I love it. I forgot just how charming this was. It's just got such an explorer's vibe over here and oh, all of his books. And look at his little bulletin board. And look at his tank of water. <laughs> I'm guessing if I bring him a fish, he'll put it in there. <laughs> it's just so sweet. Blathers. 
It's so good to meet you. <laughs> I'm exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island. Thus, I have come to conduct research, if you will. Could it be you are Sophie? You chose where to put the tent? That's me. <laughs> you did a good job placing this tent. <laughs> He wants to open a museum and dwell on this island. I do wonder, does he like live in the attic or basement of the museum and we just don't know? Well, the basement's the dinosaur exhibit, so probably not. Did you discover a new type of insect or fish? Bring it here. I'm gonna show these creatures. What's the problem about the museum? You don't have enough exhibits. So we have to give him enough things to display. Where are you coming? What? What? <laughs> Not only insects and fish I planned, but fossils too! Good! Because I was starting to worry you didn't want these and I brought you a bunch. There's a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I bet there's fossils there. But the river? I can't just hop over it. Silly you. I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. Alright. He's gonna send me a vaulting pole recipe? I kind of bought it on Endor. Yay! Up and over you go, hootie hoo! <laughs> oh, and you also sent the schematics for a shovel. Cross the river and look for the ancient relics. I have blathered far too long. <laughs> I must acquire more items to exhibit. Fifteen more. Well, what do I have in my pockets right now? I have six. We've got a good lead. <laughs> well, you have to assess these fossils, though. Oh, are we doing these one at a time? I think we are. There can be no doubt. This is a fossil. Incredible, wonderful, remarkable. My intuition was impeccable. There are fossils on this island. <laughs> All right, we need some hype. We need hype in the chat. Can we get some hype emotes? There are fossils on this island. We need... <laughs> it's very important we get hyped. <laughs> we also need to see uh, Blather's emotes if I have them on here. <laughs> there you go. There's the hype. <laughs> Blather's and <in> Raymond. <gasps> this is a Diplo chest. What a fabulous fossil! Whoa, this is a big deal. Would you donate it? Yes, I'm donating it. How wonderful! <laughs> oh, well, let's learn. Let's learn about it, please. It's been so long. Like, I... I I did all the fossils on Endor a long time ago. <laughs> oh, Diplodocus, what would we do without you? This stout fellow embodied all the best in dinosaurs. Well then, I'm very glad he's the first one that I'm donating. Sturdy legs, magnificent tail, extraordinary neck. Center of gravity was such that sitting up on its hind legs was probably easy. Oh, so made it easier to reach plants. <laughs> Probably grew its entire life having no adult size. <laughs> That's what I have to say about that. I'll accept your generous donation. <laughs> that is one of my favorite fossils. I, I love when it all goes together. Because it's so big. Only a specialist such as myself can appraise the fossil. Bring me any fossil. Well, we're definitely gonna. We are gonna, for sure. We need 14 donations. Oh, bam. There we go. Bop, bop, bop. 
I did a very good job, yes. I'll find all the fossils for you, Blathers. Wow, so we, we just put a big chunk. I'm pretty sure we can find all of them today. No problem. Piece of cake. So, we got fossils assessed. This is a pretty common one to be up here in this section. So almost every day you can get the, other, the extra miles for those. Doing so good with miles. Awesome. Thanks, Blathers. So today we're going to do a little, you know, checking out the shop, a little exploration, catching some bugs, you know, just moving the plot along. But I must know, I must know what the inside of Tank's house looks like. This is our first time we get to see it. <laughs> I've never seen it before. Because I've never actually visited anyone who had Tank on their island. This looks so much like Axel's house. Axel's house looked exactly like this, but it was green instead of blue. So uh, your starter villagers have a very simple house, very simplistic. And uh, the only way to upgrade it if you keep them is to play Happy Home Paradise and then like design 30 homes and then you can come back and get them like a upgraded house. But right now it's like this. It's like it's just a very simple design. The more complicated houses will come along later. Hey, Tank! Happy, Happy, Happy Lunar New, New Year! Year. Way to run those laps, Moon! Kerpow! <laughs> Need something, Kerpow? Just want to talk to you. I finally own something I have trouble lifting. It's a house! <laughs> <laughs> Got walls, a floor, a ceiling. I can do jumping jacks without ripping a hole in my home. It's, it's, I'm so proud for you, Tank. I'm just so happy for you. Oh, the jocks are so good. They're so good. I just love talking to jocks. Otherwise, you've got like a simple house like me. We both got our lanterns and our radios. <laughs> People, folks tell me my room balance is off because I just randomly display stuff I like. Jokes on them, though. I have perfect physical balance. It all evens out in the end. Alright. We're gonna let him go. We're gonna go check out Pashmina's house. Pashmina! Oh, I really like the brick on her exterior. It's very nice. Pretty beige color. Very classy. So presumably this is her starter layout too. Oh god. Pashmina. Oh honey. This game has done you wrong. There's no way you were meant to have this ugly table. And that her normal interior looks like like a red 50s diner with a jukebox and a wear open sign and a red fridge and like the red diner counters side by side and a cute red sofa. It's got a lot more personality. That's for sure. This is This is the ugliest table I have I have ever seen. <laughs> oh you know who likes um, color block furniture is Judy, but she's got the pastel version and it really works for her. But um, let's be nice and not say anything to Pashmina about it. We don't want to. We don't want her to know how much we hate her table. <laughs> Yo, it's Lunar New Year. I'm super stoked. I get to spend it with my buddies, kidders. I like her happy face. Her little tongue sticking out. It's so cute. <laughs> I really love getting to know new villagers. It makes me so happy. And her teal horns. I've officially moved on from tent life. I got a house, kidders! Tents are cool and all, but I can fit more stuff in a house. Feels like I finally live here instead of just roughing it. I'm happy for you, Pashmina. But what I can do to help out these two in the meantime is... A lot of times when you give starter villagers furniture, they I feel like they put it out in their house more often than other villagers do. 
So I can help her out. As soon as we're at the level where I'm allowed to give her gifts, I can start giving her really cool stuff. I mean, assuming it's for sale. Unless I go to Endor and get some help from Jackie B. Another DIY recipe! What one is this one? Hippie sent me... What is it? A foxtail? What? I don't think I have that on Endor. I do not have this. Is this the one where you, you wear it out of your mouth? Like you walk around with it in your mouth? Because I don't have that. <laughs> and now I've got the flimsy shovel recipe because of blathers. Yay! Hey, Tom. Your home is much roomier, yes? It's nice to have a little extra space. Which brings us to... The cost of your remodel! 198,000 bells! I am not in a hurry to upgrade my home. I feel like my biggest motivators in the beginning last time was I wanted more storage, and right now I'm hardly using it, so we're doing just fine. But I've got 5,700 nook miles. Let's pick hair color. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering, should Sophie have a different hair color? Then Jackie B and Gina. I learned how to make some new hair colors. I bet I could change up my look with a mirror. Well, first we'll talk to Tom about a ceremony. The phone is ringing. Someone's calling. You've reached Nook Inc. You saw our ad. I see. Hmm. Of course. Don't worry about a thing. We can set up your getaway package to include a lovely furnished home. Oh, he won't have to be in a tent. Not at all. We'll set up your move-in date at a later time. No trouble at all. Just need to drop contracts. <laughs> What's the problem, Nook? Sorry to keep you waiting. Yes. Yes. So you've been advertising. What? How do we have three interested parties already? Don't I have a say in this? <laughs> I thought I could go, like, look for people, but... One minor detail. Oh, you're gonna help. You're gonna ask me to set up the three plots. I might have promised them fully furnished homes. I might have lied. Three homes, the land, preparing all the furnishing. It's just too much for one raccoon. You're not a raccoon, you're a tanuki. There is a difference. You're just doing that for silly Americans, aren't you? <laughs> Who don't know the difference. Here you are in my hour of need. Certainly must be fate. Help me get these homes prepared, all three of them. I have to give you a thank you for your assistance. Yes. <laughs> You're going to need some top secret instructions. Come talk to me. Use the phrase, what should I do? Agent Nook out. Oh, this is fun. Oh, so it's a secret? <laughs> Tell me what I should do first, and then we will hold the ceremony. I would like the information. I think it's going to be similar to the shop, where I have to get a bunch of... Oh! I... We're going to build a bridge. With three homes to build, I worried we'll run out of space on land that's easily accessible. It'll open things up a bit, make it easier to get housing plots during construction. Hmm? Craft the parts for a bridge. Then you can decide on a location for the bridge. I'm guessing we're gonna need stone. I already started collecting some last time, so... We'll find out. Maybe I'm wrong about that. 
All right, this is the only time we build our own bridge. After this, we just pay him to set one up. And it's this is the cheapest bridge. The cheapest. So all we need is four clay, four stone, and log stakes. And I have the recipe for log stakes. It's just wood. So we need wood, clay, and stone. No problem. Um, let's go hold that ceremony and then we can craft the bridge. Yes. I sure am. Let's do it. I love ceremonies. <laughs> As if I have a choice. Yes. <laughs> I'm so tempted sometimes to be sarcastic, but the game makes me too happy to be sarcastic with him. <laughs> I'm just a giddy small child. Now then. Welcome to our dedication ceremony! Whee! It's so tiny and I love it. Clap, clap, clap! <laughs> it started out as a deserted island. There simply wasn't much here. But now, it's slowly beginning to develop. Thanks to the tireless efforts of, well... Everyone, really. It's me. I did the things. I did all the things, sir. <laughs> oh, Timmy and Tommy are gonna say some things. Thank you, Bree. We've opened a proper shop. They could use some more clothes. They've just got little aprons. Otherwise, they're naked. <laughs> We're gonna work it hard to make it the best shop. I hope we can count on you for your business. Oh, they're so cute. Look at the little blushy faces. We don't get to see them do reactions very often in the shop. A few words from someone who made many valuable contributions. Bree's own Sophie. Floor's yours, Sophie. Let's see. Uh, good for us. We're amazing. Woo! I'm gonna say we're amazing, but really, I'm amazing. I did it all in one day. <laughs> Child labor is awesome. <laughs> yeah, those uh, those little boys are naked tanukis. <gasps> Let's get ready. Get ready to press the button. Here we go! Hooray! Oh. <laughs> I like the ceremony music, too. It's very sweet and relaxing. Alright, here's the fourth one. I'm glad I had just enough wood for this. This is why you save up your crafting supplies, and then you don't have to run around the island when you want to do something. If you always have, like, at least some on hand, you can usually do what you want. I could do an east-west spot by Tank's house, and that would give me access to the bottom corner, and, in a roundabout way, it would get me across the river where I'm standing now. I could do the area behind Nook's Cranny, but it wouldn't access much of anything at all. And I'm pretty sure I was thinking about putting houses over here anyway. So let's, um... Let's hop on over here for a minute. Oh look, I dropped some weeds. Oh, and some more weeds. So where would I like houses to be? So, there's a falls all the way over here. There's an, a long space here. So, I could put a house here. So, one, two, three, tons of space. Four, five, six. I could easily put six or seven houses over here. And it'd be like nothing. And I love putting them near each other. And then, um... I've got room to put, like, maybe... Two more houses down by the beach. So that Pashmina and Tank can each have... 
one neighbor, so they're not lonely. But I think I'd like to put all the rest of the houses in this area. It's a nice area. I mean, I like how roomy it is, and there's a lot of yard space. When I originally set up Endor, I kind of did, like, two streets. And it's great. It's convenient for running around and seeing everybody. But those three initial plots that I made, the ones that he's going to want me to do, they are tight together. I mean, each of them has a yard, and I decorated the yard, but it's not a lot of space. And that's something I want to correct on this island. I want to give everyone more space. Um, I like the idea of having the bridge by my house. I wonder if I could put it right here. Well, my theory didn't work. Let's, let's see. Yeah, let's, let's try here because it is, the land is a little bit more even. Um, what about just one corner further? Hmm. All right, it doesn't want to cooperate. On Endor, I have like a bridge right behind my house and I kind of hate it. Um, I don't want it over there. So, um, here is good. How about this spot? It's perfectly centered. Let me imagine it. And this type of bridge, I will immediately be upgrading once I have like a ton of bells because it's, it's not trying very hard. And there are so many pretty bridges you can make. <laughs> have to do a little landscaping. Should we go ahead? I'm assuming you might take out a tree or that one weed um okay yay what is this thing considered i'm not even sure what category you go in i made a foxtail it looks like a weed did i make weeds Hold? I hold it in my hand. Why do I hold this thing in my hand exactly? What objective am I achieving by walking around with this thing? <laughs> Hopefully they have something worth buying. <laughs> Look at this little place! <laughs> Question mark, question mark, question mark? Who is this stranger on my island? I was worried when I heard you were all moving to a deserted island, but it's much nicer than I imagined. It's so nice, so nice! <laughs> Lathers moved in, we opened up the shop. New things every day has been a lot of fun. Pleased to hear that. Actually, I wanted to see if you needed assistance with anything. We sisters like to help wherever we can. Any island ideas come to mind? We need a clothes shop. It's Mabel! Oh, mail orders are hard. Need a clothing supplier. Aha! <laughs> Today is your lucky day. <laughs> Alright, so she's just gonna stop by every once in a while. <laughs> if she hangs out long enough, then she'll eventually open her shop. Hi! I guess she's not gonna talk to me. I'm- I'm just- I, I don't know. Just whatever. Our new shop! Nook's Cranny! Ready-made stuff! Wallpaper and flooring! I hope they have something fun. Alright, so we've got, um... This is a very useful piece of furniture. Alright, we need to buy this plasma ball. 
It's very important for our house. Um, here we've got a sewing kit. Well, we've got the sewing machine, so now we need this. There's something to work on. Uh, there's also this panda. It's a very cute panda. We're gonna buy a panda, too. <laughs> blue subway tile wall, blue intricate wall, yellow intricate wall, yellow paint wall, stone tile, skull print flooring! Um, I need to buy this for Jackie B. I'm not putting it in my house right now, though. That's... Doesn't... Okay, I need... I would like two things that match. Um, let's try this yellow wall. I like yellow a lot. And then there's this stone tile or the cute white tile. And I think the cute white tile is more welcoming. Boys, I'm good. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna put Panda in the corner. Um, I don't know. Here. This would be nice on a table. Alright, now we're gonna turn this on. Yay! <laughs> Be nice to bring him a wasp. Come on, there's gonna be a wasp around here somewhere. There must be a wasp on this part of the island. Come on, you know you wanna sting me. Come and get me. <laughs> it's funny, on Endor, I only ever got the purple panda. Oh, here we go. Boom. I'm pretty sure I didn't bring that to Tom Nook. So, Blathers will appreciate it. <laughs> Tom will have a new bridge. It'll be easier to get around the island. Now that that's out of the way, let's start on some homes. We can wait for that to finish if you want, or you can ask me what should I do. What should I do? Tell me about the houses. Bridge won't be ready till tomorrow. You want to start on the homes now? I do. Three housing kits. Oh. Pick out plots for three homes. The homes need furniture. Comes with a list of furniture required. Read the list. Build everything. Let me send you the recipes you'll need. Open oh, some cool stuff. I love this part. I love, like, deciding where the plots go and... Oh, so good. Let's look at the furniture. Whoa, that's a lot of new furniture. So some of this will be needed. And I don't know what yet. But we'll find out. I like that we've already got a rose wreath DIY because we could start um, letting people decorate their doors. Hi, I brought you some more things. I don't know what I'm allowed to donate, but I'm going to try to donate what I have. Um, oh, I've also got three more fossils. I forgot about those. Let's start with the scariest one. <laughs> the horror, the repugnance, good heavens. I must maintain my composure. Bugs, I detest them. There's much I can tell you about it. If you insist. Oh, I insist. You must tell me. In that case, um... Wasps are called meat bees because they eat meat! <sighs> See what a menace they make of themselves at picnics! Oh! Aggressive predators with venomous stingers. They hunt and eat other insects. Paralyze their prey. Drag their victims home alive, leaving them for their larvae to feed upon. Oh my gosh. 
Suddenly a simple sting seems quite tolerable. Anywho, thanks for the wasp. Although bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I do have more things. I want to give you this dung beetle. <laughs> yes. It feeds on feces. <laughs> <laughs> it rolls up balls of dung. And that's why it's been rolling up snowballs, I guess. Oh no, they lay their eggs and feces. Oh, what a dreadful place to raise the young. <laughs> I believe you, Blathers. Um, I do have the paper kite, butterfly, and three more fossils to show you. Now this is lovely. You shouldn't be upset. I brought you a butterfly. I saved the best for last. That's pretty. It's pretty, Blathers. Yes. You got. You must tell me. Tell me. <laughs> See? It's elegant and pretty. Pretty poisonous! <laughs> oh man, he's going off. <laughs> oh no, the larva and its pupae are, are toxic to predators. So birds won't eat them, because they poison. This bird, most of all. <laughs> no one would ever th think you were going to eat a butterfly, Blathers. Three to go. Where would I like my neighbors to live? Should I build them out right to left? Or from the beach inward? Hmm. I like the idea of putting one here. So let's start here. Let me imagine the plot. Yeah, this is a really great spot, actually. My phone is ringing. Yeah? Um, it's going great. Now I got some ideas. <laughs> Alright, the box will show what I need. Interior items should be placed in the box. Exterior items should be placed around the plot. Make it look nice and decorative now. To all construction helpers, please submit items for the following procedures. Let's check the interior items. A wooden simple bed, a wooden chair, a classic pitcher. Okay. Wooden simple bed, wooden chair, classic pitcher. Log garden lounge, log stool, water pump. Okay, that's a lot of things. All right. Um, I need this. The log garden lounge. I need the water pump. I need more clay. And I need the classic pitcher. I can do that. Great. There. Cool. 
I remember it like has to be so close to the plot too. With our new shop comes three new services. Turnips? Why didn't we talk about this before? The turnip market is about to take off here on the island. You'll see a turnip seller soon. Oh, so maybe on Sunday. We'll buy turnips you have on hand. The price is set in the morning and afternoon, so be sure to stop by. We don't accept them on Sundays. Hot item of the day. It'll change every day. So this will be an item that you can craft and bring to them. So if you really want to make some money, it's another extra way to make money. Also, the drop-off box. If you're in a hurry or the shop is closed, you can drop off items you want to sell. There is a handling key. <laughs> so the drop-off box, you don't get as much as you would if you could talk to them in person. I want to sell. How's that? Cool, I like money. All right, we're gonna get some wood and we're gonna craft the rest of the furniture for that plot. There you go. Hey! Hi, Pashmina. I was wondering, did anyone tell you about reactions yet, kidders? No, we haven't done any reactions yet. When you feel full of joy and your body starts moving on its own, like I'm doing now. Words aren't up to snuff when you come to express yourself. Reactions will do. You want to let everyone know how you feel. I'm going to tell the others to teach you any sweet reactions they know. Don't forget to hit them up. I learned a reaction. I can express my feelings. Thanks, Pashmina. I appreciate that. Reaction ruler! Overacting neophyte? What I remember happening on Endor was that I set up the three plots, I set up everything with it, Bianca was the one I found on an island, and the other two, I didn't get a choice. They just showed up. So is that always the case? Oh, I need one more piece of wood. Do the other are the other two always predetermined, or do I have time to go island hopping and find them? Because I feel like everyone after those three, you get an opportunity to go looking for them. All right, I need a log stool. Wonder. Like, I hate the placement of this, but I need it to be close enough to the house. So hopefully that's good. The next time I get the full list, what I should do is you can favorite different items. So I should go through immediately and favorite the items I am doing for the next plot so that I don't have to keep them memorized. I think that would be a really good idea. We need clay. Last time I needed iron, couldn't get enough iron. This time I need clay, can't get enough clay. The goals for the rest of this stream will be um, to finish the furniture for the plot that I put out and give Blathers the remaining items he needs to start the museum. That's a very good start. And maybe the plot that I made will go to Cube because he already, I already invited him to come. So I'm going to assume that that's how it's gonna work. Hooray! All the interior stuff is ready. I do need an exterior item though. I need that water pump. I need four more clay. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, I could go to a mystery island or I could wait one more day. Waiting one more day doesn't sound like the worst thing right now. But let's start with giving Blathers what he needs. Oh, look at the tent lit up at night. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, but if I went to a mystery island, maybe I would meet someone else. And I could invite them. Maybe. Oh, that's a good idea. Now I'm more excited about it. 
I need you to assess this and this. Oh, it looks like I need one more thing to give him. Yes, I do. One donation. I need four clay and one donation to move things forward. Yes! An anchovy! Stay away from my pizza! Alright, Blathers, I've got a fish. And... Mm, I do believe this means... Huzzah! Hooray! We have acquired the number of specimens! We can submit our application to build a proper museum! I must make haste and prepare for the museum opening! There's so much to do! Hooty hoo! I'm there for you, Blathers. Got this. I want to use my ticket. Yes. Oh my gosh, who's it gonna be? If there's- oh! If I had a wish character... Um... One of the villagers I would super like to adopt is... Tutu, the polar bear. While it's still winter. I would really like to adopt her. I would also like to have Chevra live on my island in the spring. I think that would be really fun. Uh, Gala is another one I would like. Oh, I'm on a bamboo island. Good thing I wasn't coming here for wood. Yay! I've got the clay I need! Hopefully we can get some more because I don't know what furniture will be needed for the other two plots and it'll be good to hoard some for supplies. I don't think I can use an amiibo for these plots because I won't have three days to set it up. I could for other ones that come after the three though because I can always go to town whenever I'm ready to set up a plot in those cases I think. <gasps> Hi! Hi there! Hi there! Hi! Hi! Hi there! Hi! Oh my gosh! Hello, pretty bird! Hello! Hi! It's Celia! Hi, Celia! Oh, she's so pretty! It must be true what they say. Travel broadens your horizons. This change of scenery is giving me a new perspective on life back on my island. I like it well enough. Oh, is she a normal or a snooty? I don't remember which for sure. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I must know. She is a normal personality. I think she's great. Oh my gosh. I, I have always liked her. Um, all right, I know I, I threw out those other names, but we're gonna go with Celia now. <laughs> I can always bring the other ones in later after a while. <laughs> I think I might have gotten in touch with your island about moving there a while ago. <laughs> so, you've, you've heard of my island. My island already has a very good reputation, huh? What are the odds I'd run into someone from Bree here? Your support means a lot. I'll start packing to move as soon as I get back from this tour. Oh, that is so great! How exciting! Alright, so now I know that there's definitely villagers on these islands when there is room on Endor. Or, Bree. Now I'm on Bree. <laughs> oh, that means next time I play, I'm going to search for another one. Because they, they can't move in until the plot's set up. So I'm just going to set up the plots one at a time, and I'm going to take control over who comes to live here instead of letting it autofill. Although Biscuit and Dora were very good surprises. I did like them a lot. I want to craft my water pump. <laughs> All right, let's go home. So we'll drop this off. And then next time I play, there should be a house here and a villager. 
All right. Um. Place it? Like barely any room, but now everything's in the yard. It's very close to the house. You know what? Just just to be sure that it's close enough to the house. There. <laughs> you cannot screw this up. It's not gonna stay like this. This is literally just to get this one to move in. Check the exterior. We're good. We've got the check marks. We did it! What a good day! It was a very good and productive day. We've got the museum is gonna open, and this plot is gonna open, and two new villagers are coming soon. Oh, very exciting. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I had a really good time. I love coming here and feeling like super productive and like things are move moving around along smoothly and it's a very fun and cute game to play. It's very relaxing. And if you haven't already, please uh, follow the Twitch channel. Please subscribe on YouTube. And you can catch up on what I've been up to with the different games I've been playing. And I will see you next time.